Have you ever wondered what joy is? Is it that feeling of happiness we get when we hear a funny joke? Or is it the feeling of excitement we get when we open a present? Or perhaps it's the feeling of peace we get when someone we love holds us close. Is it all of those things? Or is it none of those things? There's an analogy C.S. Lewis uses that I think best describes joy. Imagine you're a young man or woman recently married. Your newlywed spouse is sent off to war. After years of hearing nothing, you become convinced that the one you love is dead and will never come back. You start to mourn your loss. Mourning turns to numbness, a hollow expression of the everyday. Then, imagine a light comes into the darkness. You're told that your lover who you once thought was dead is in fact alive and at that very moment is standing at your door. The time when Jesus was born was a time of yearning for the people of God. For 400 years, the people of Israel felt that God had fallen silent. There were no great prophets, no great kings, no land to call their own. The Messiah promised by Isaiah and Daniel was longed for but never expected. Words like, for a child is born to us, a son is given to us, the government will be on his shoulders, were more of a dream than a promise. Then, one night, everything changes. God fulfills his promise. He is no longer silent. There were shepherds in the field when angels appeared, and the angels cried out, do not be afraid. I bring you good news and great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Imagine the feeling of excitement, of happiness, of expectation and anticipation. Through this child, this small baby, all the struggles, all the questions, all the cries that God had abandoned his people were answered. The people of God were no longer alone. God not only spoke to his people, he became one of them. He came to be with us. He is Christ the Lord. But the story doesn't end there. Imagine, it's 30 years later. Jesus the child who brought so much joy has died, executed on the cross. His friends don't understand what is happening. Jesus spent three years talking about the kingdom of God, a time when God would make everything right. And now all of that seemed empty. Their friend and leader was dead and all hope was gone. Try to imagine what that would feel like. Jesus' friends were mourning his loss and like those before his birth, questioning why God had abandoned them, why the voice they had heard so clearly had fallen silent. And then the joy. Jesus had not fallen silent, he came back from death. Can you imagine how they would have felt to see their friend who they thought dead, now alive? Their hope for a better world, a better life was not gone. Isn't that what we all want? Isn't that the kind of joy we all long to experience? Not just feeling happy, not just a warm and fuzzy sensation, but a true feeling that life still has wonder and promise. As we walk in a world that seems dark and directionless, don't we want to feel the light on our faces? That's what Christ is for us. When we look on the face of the Christ child, we see the promise of freedom that Christ the man gives us. The lover has come to our door, waiting to hold us once again.